Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you a clean solution that beats 100% of all Go submissions for this lead code question. In case you're new to my channel, I'm a software engineer, I worked in Silicon Valley, and specialize in Go. Today I'll cover visualizing the solution and also coding it out. Now let's get started. Given two non-empty linked lists, representing two non-negative integers, with the digits in reverse order, we want to add the two numbers and return the sum as a linked list. For example, if we have these two L1 and L2 linked lists summed together, we want to return 708 because 342 plus 465 gives 807, with the reverse being 708. Let's visualize the solution. First, we create two pointers at the start of L1 and L2 and initialize the sum to 0. This sum will track the current L1 plus L2 pair of digits. We also create an output linked list with a dummy pointer and an output pointer to the head of the linked list. Currently, this node is initialized to 0. Now, we start checking. Since L1 has the value 9, we update the sum so far to 9 and shift forward the L1 pointer. Then we check L2 with the value also 9. 9 plus 9 gives us 18, but each node of the output can only store a singular digit. So this digit will be 18 modulo 10, that is 8. So we set the output.next node to 8 and shift the output pointer to the current node. Now notice the original sum is 18. So we have a carry of 18 divided by 10, which gives 1. Now, we need to shift forward the L2 pointer, but since there is no more next node to check for L2, we continue to just check L1, which is currently 9. So remember that this sum is the sum of a single pair of L1 and L2 digits, which currently, in this case, should be the same as the carry. So the sum starts off as 1, and 1 plus 9 gives us 10. So again, we need to repeat the same process. Currently, the digit will be 10 mod 10, which gives 0. So we set the output.next node to 0, and update the output pointer and the carry will be 10 divided by 10 which gives 1. So now since there are no next node to check for L1 we have come to the end of the loop but there is still a final step to check the carry since it is not 0 we need to set the next node for the output to the carry which is 1 and finally we have the output linked list, but there is a catch. The dummy points to zero. And so instead of returning dummy, what we should do is we should actually return dummy.next that would give us the final linked list sum. That is 801, which is actually 99 plus 9108. There we go. Now, let's code out the solution. First, we create the L1 pointer to the start of the L1 linked list and the L2 pointer to the start of the L2 linked list. And we initialize a dummy head, which is the start of our final output linked list. And have an output pointer that points to this dummy head, as well as a carry that is currently initialized to zero. Now, as long as the L1 pointer is not nil or the L2 pointer is not nil, we want to continue the loop. And we use OR condition here because there is a possibility of one linked list being longer than the other, yet we still want to continue summing up the digits. So at each iteration, the sum will start off with the value of the carry. If the L1 pointer is not nil, we want to add its value to the sum. And we update the pointer 
to the next node. Similarly, we check if the L2 pointer is not nil. We want to add it to the sum and update the pointer to the next value. Finally, we need to update the carry, which would be sum divided by 10, and the digit that we'll be setting for the list node in the final linked list will be sum modulo 10. We need to shift forward the output and set the next node to this new list node with value as the digit that we just calculated and update the pointer to the node that we just created. Finally, if we go through the entire loop, we need to check the final step of if the carry is not zero, so there is some value, we need to set that as the final list node to the output linked list. So the list node value in this case will be the carry. And ultimately, we want to return dummy dot next because recall if we return dummy head we will get 0708 instead of 708 there we go now this solution runs in linear time because we're only going through either array once